All right, um, we're going to do an example here of multiplicative property of equality with signed fractions. Wow, sounds really scary. Don't let it intimidate you. Math is 98% intimidation. Um, so in plain English, what we're going to do is we're going to take something that has an x in it and something that has a fraction in it, oh no, and we're going to solve for x. That's what all those fancy words mean. Something like this. We have a fraction, we have an x, and we need to solve for x. You're going to use the same old rules that you always use when you're solving for x. You're going to look at numbers and move them around by undoing whatever operation they have. Um, first thing I just want to make a comment about this problem is we have that negative 3 eighths. The negative sign floating around in front of the fraction is just really wishy-washy. Um, so we completely have the power to put the negative sign on the top. We could have put it on the bottom with the 8, but let's just slide it up to the top. I'm just going to make that always my habit. Whenever I see a negative sign out in front, I'm going to stuff it in the top number. All right, cool. So now we're going to get rid of the 8 first, because frankly, if we had no 8 on the bottom of that fraction, there would be no fraction, hence no intimidation. So to get rid of the 8, we need to figure out what is the 8 doing to that negative 3. Well, gosh, it's dividing. How do we undo division? We multiply. So to show your workout, we do that. That little dot means multiplication. The 8s are going to cancel out on that side. Of course, what we do to one side of the equation, we need to do to the other. And now we rewrite. Negative 3x equals, and negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. Ta-da! This much doesn't look half as intimidating. We have a negative 3x. What are they doing together? They're multiplying. So to get rid of that negative 3, we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. We show our work out by doing that. And again, the negative 3s are going to cancel out. And when we rewrite, all we have is this. And hopefully you know your math facts. And negative 48 divided by negative 3 is going to give us a positive 16. So you're all done. So again, it's not super, super scary. Um, it's just a matter of slowing down, not being intimidated, first by the words that they use, and second of all, by a fraction suddenly appearing. Um, fractions have a tendency to freak people out, and I don't blame them. But if you can think about solving this type of problem in this manner, is getting rid of the fractions, and that's the beauty of it. So let's do another example. Um, so we have 14 equals negative 2 sevens x. Again, we have a wishy-washy negative sign. Let's take care of that right away. All right, and then we're going to get rid of the 7. Because if we can get rid of the 7, there's no fractions left. The 7 is dividing into the negative 2, so we undo it by multiplying. Our 7s cancel out. What we do on one side of the equation, we must do on the other side of the equation. And let's see, 14 times 7 is going to be 98. And on this side, the right-hand side, we only have negative 2x now. It makes it look so much easier. How do we get rid of the negative 2? Well, it's multiplying with the x, so we're going to undo the multiplying by dividing. What we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side of the equation. That side cancels out to just x, and 98 divided by negative 2 happens to be negative 49. Ta-da! All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another problem now, um, and I'm going to have you try to work through it. And um, then I want you to hit pause while you're working through it, and then you can hit play again and see if you got the right answer. All right. All right. I'm not sure if I can add another screen while it's... All right. So here's the problem that I want you to work on. Um, it's, uh, let's see, it's negative 18 equals negative 2 thirds. I will use y this time just to make it interesting. So why don't you write that down, hit pause right now, um, and then... Uh, when you're, you're done solving it, come back and see if you get the right answer. Okay. All right, so if you're going to go through solving this, again, the first thing that I would suggest doing is sliding the negative sign up into the 2. Next, we want to get rid of the 3. We're going to do that by multiplying, and the 3s are going to cancel out. What we do on one side of the equation, we need to do on the other side. Um, negative 18 times 3 is negative 54, and when we rewrite this side, all we have left is negative 2y. Finally, we need to get rid of the negative 2, so we divide. And on this side, we have y's. And negative 54 divided by negative 2 is going to be a positive 27. So hopefully you did that right. Um, and now you're ready to go tackle the problem all on your own. Good luck. Fresh. Let's see. Looks like it's starting me fresh. That's not what I want.